<laughs> right into it. Okay, people, welcome back to another report from Toy Fair, landing in New York City. Did you just go right into it? Yeah, I, I got I, I no, did. I got no warning. <laughs> I, I pushed a button, that. sat down. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing this. We're going. So it's Friday, um, technically the day before Toy Fair, and I can't even keep a re no straight. Hell, I was I, I drove up to your neighborhood crazy. yesterday, and yeah. it was like, here's some news, here's some news, here's some news, here's some news. So it doesn't stop. You, 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 you drive up to my place, and then we fly to New York um, together. But I woke up um, because one of my children decided to wake up at like five fifteen this morning. <laughs> well, you know. So when she did, I looked at my phone. Oh, boom! Snake eyes. Up for sale on Pulse already. Man, you're jumping right past I the, did. I'm past. I, that, well, that's the first thing I did this morning. Yes. Yeah. Order Snake Eyes. So. Ah, uh, well. Snake Eyes. But we're going to get to. But we saw it. We had. Had we seen Snake Eyes? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Some yeah, leaked yeah. pictures. We'll on get to G.I. Joe. Mm -hmm. But first, yep. Wednesday night, I hadn't even left the house yet. I was watching AEW. And oh, what happens? Yeah. Jazzware shows their AEW line, Unrivaled Collection. So. You are a wrestling fan, correct? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I try to is watch. this going to be a wrestling line you actually collect? I, now? I, well, with Mattel, <laughs> I wasn't there at the beginning, you know? And they are so deep now at this point that yeah. I'll never catch up. I grab the random one every now and then. I know you have a Matt Hardy because I... I, I of course yeah. I have a Matt Hardy and yeah. I'm waiting for a Fiend. Uh -huh. But this line, jumping in at the first, they're still growing. It's a, still kind of a small federation. Mm -hmm. So I'll get Young Bucks, Kenny Omega... Cody, Brandy, and I think they said Moxley was in the first series too, but and you don't mess with Moxley. Jericho. You don't just walk up. I hadn't got to Le Champion yet. <laughs> and there's Jericho, looking better than he has in 20 years. It's all that fine champagne. Champagne. A little bit of the bubbly. <laughs> so that's a cool line, and it's another step for Jazzwares into a whole new world. They, they've they've broken, building on the, they've broken down the walls what with they've built Fortnite. Fortnite. Yeah. yeah. And they're like, oh, Action figures put in my collection, and now again. So when the banana wrestler and the tomato head wrestler come out, I'm all over them. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Jericho's about the only one you know, huh? Maybe Cody? I know Cody just because of his dad and brother, yeah. I suppose. But it's a cool jumping on point. There's and no place good. to begin like the start. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's no better place to begin than the, <laughs> the beginning. beginning. <laughs> I think there were some Transformers. Okay. Titan class Scorponok, which I only remember from the comics, but he looks so kick ass, I'll have to get him. RC for the, you know, to go with my Springer. And RC looks good. I, hell, yeah. I think she looks better than the Masterpiece version. Really? Yeah. Plus, it's cheaper. <laughs> Plus, I can just go to the Walmart and buy it and yeah. go home. Companies are teasing out earlier and earlier as we go because Hasbro's kind of just been. Letting a few things go. I mean, well, well, well Baby and, and Yoda, Walmart, Baby Walmart Yoda made sticking it to oh, them yeah. too. So. Yeah, but Baby Yoda made what? Good Morning America. I mean, there's yeah, no the surprise about that. One. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that that does yeah. look pretty cool though. Yeah. Sixty bucks. It's not bad. Hell no, not for mm -hmm. something that moves. Oh, Skylinks and Fast Track are the other two Transformers, Transformers revealed officially. I think some more leaked today, but I haven't had a chance to really look into it. Like Run Amok and uh, I know like a new Megatron and so, yeah. yeah. But wake up this morning. The, well, okay, you saw Snake Eyes first. I saw the Metacom Mafex Dark Knight Returns Joker. Right. Kind of a magazine scan look at thing, which means solicitation should Holy be right sin. around the corner. Yeah, it looks cool. He's got the batarang He's eye. He's got the big cool. open mouth laugh mm -hmm. batarang in the eye. Knife? Yeah, knife. Looks badass. Yeah, he's cool. Um, I mean, if you're into that style and that story. Well, that's the thing. I, def I, I ordered the, the Batman, um, obviously, for sure, so... You're gonna you gotta have, have a bad He's gonna, yeah, gonna exactly. Have a gonna have to go with Joker. Yeah, too. and along with that, which was also revealed at Wonder Festival, I think last week, week before. Okay. They they showed a Metacom Mafex Spider-Man Far From Home stealth suit. Not monkey. It's night a Mafex not yeah, monkey. Yeah, I was going to say. I, I know it is night monkey. And it looks cool, too. I th you have an unmasked head. You have mm -hmm. a masked head. You have a head masked head with goggles up. And, and then it looks like a completely alternate head with the glasses, with the glasses holding glasses. it on. That's better than a little tiny pair of glasses, I think. Yes. God, that takes me back to like the original Spider-Man movie with the Peter Parker figure that shot water out of his backpack and he came with the little teeny tiny pair of glasses. But then, yeah, you texted me from upstairs yeah. <laughs> saying Snake, snake Eyes, is yeah. that for pre-order? We yeah. thought it'd go up Saturday. 
during the presentation. Yeah, because because they because Pulse teased out that there's going to be new stuff that's going to be made available during their live streaming of the panel that starts at 1.30 um, tomorrow. And so to me, this was this came a day early. But some neat pictures. Yeah, um, yeah. He's uh, you know along with that, then um, we got to see a little bit more, and he's definitely to me right now the best looking one. Out yeah, of, yeah. Snake Eyes uh, evokes. Well, of course, he's in black, dark gray, silver. Mm -hmm. It, it, you can kind of hide all the stuff that's sculpted on him and such, but later on we saw pictures of Scarlet and Roadblock. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, uh, it kind of. It, I'm, I, I, I'm of two minds. I'm gonna get him because mm -hmm. I want to. I'm gonna support this line. Six inch Joes. I've never collected Joes ever, and now is my my chance to get in on it. Um, they certainly were not are not thus far looking like what I expected them right. to be. And Perfect that's the problem world. with expectations. Well, I, I think there were two camps on this. Mm -hmm. Perfect world for one camp would be the original card art. Yes. You know, Those are just, slick. Just take that, put it into plastic form. Yep. The other camp... Perfect World would be modernized versions of that with actual fatigues and weapons and that kind of thing, which I think they did in one of the... I, I don't keep track of the three and three quarter inch line. Yeah. This seems like kind of middle ground trying to appease everybody and going up further with the sci-fi ele elements. Yeah. And I think it just kind of... lots of gold. <laughs> yeah, lots of gold. <laughs> I think, really, I, I don't mind sculpted embellishments. I think it's the, all the clashing colors that kind of just... And yeah, kind of and, and, and when you say that with the modern embellishments with it, I think you're right because I think a lot of that can be accepted if you retain the color palette yeah. that people know. Yeah. And like if you just look at somebody like Scarlet, it, it's all over the map. Yeah, <laughs> the colors, yeah. right? I mean, I mean blue, it, gold, it, it, orange. It kind of looks like her classic look. Kind of, uh, yeah. Just, I, I, and we were talking earlier. Wouldn't surprise us whatsoever if we saw a vintage carded line later down down the line, and I think they did, wouldn't even change sculpts. They just mute Hang down the color way. palettes, take some of the colors out for for Scarlet. You know, have that brownish tannish color go all the way down. Yeah. So split it up. And, well, and, and that's kind of the thing for me with this now is that I'm going to collect it, and and I hope that this is successful because. Um, I think it has a lot of potential at this scale, number one. And number two, it's Hasbro's property. They own yeah. Joe. So yeah. if this does well, they can, they, there's no, they can pull out stops with doing other they're types not waiting of execution. For license yeah. or approval yeah, or because, anything. Yeah, because I mean, they're doing the, like, like you just said, the vintage cards, even with Marvel and Star Wars, it just makes way too much sense yeah. to, to not think about that sometime down the road. But they, they, they need a strong launch, which, and I'm not saying they're trying to appeal to everybody, yeah. you know, including they, they, in kids. In their head, they were like, we have that. to appease collectors, mm -hmm. we have to appease kids, and at collectors, there's really no, there's no 100% pleasing, yeah. pleasing yeah. <laughs> us, you know? Yeah. And I'm looking at it, and I'm thinking, they're G.I. Joe-esque enough mm -hmm. for me to like them, and, and probably good action figures. Yeah, and they look like good figures. And yeah. for me, that's half the battle. I knew I'd fit it in. You can go now. <laughs> yeah, so I'll get them just because for, for the good action figure content. Yeah, I'm excited still. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm Don't excited get me wrong, to see Snake it in person. Is still my favorite so yeah. far because then later on, even Duke leaked, and yeah. he's <clears throat> he strays a little bit closer to the classic look, mm -hmm. but he was just really a tan shirt and yeah, he's pants, got like a modern know? haircut, yeah. you know, and, and they've taken. He looks a little younger in the face that I like typically associate. With him, I think too. Mm -hmm. And plus, they've taken the weapons. Roadblock mm -hmm. doesn't have his fifty cal. Scar Scarlet does have her crossbow, but for Duke and Roadblock, they've taken them, made them kind of lasery, futuristic sci-fi. Also, it makes me wonder if there is something that is on the horizon. Like they're doing this in backwards from what we're accustomed to. I wonder if these designs on these figures are kind of like an early prelude to some type of media push with Joe that that takes these looks yeah. and, and does that. I mean, I know it's usually the other way around where you end up seeing, you know, the media or whatever associated with it and then you see the figures. But again, since it's Hasbro's property, they would have the ability to kind of invert that yeah. a little bit so so maybe these are just based on something that we don't know of yet like whatever mm -hmm. wherever the box art came from exactly so because yeah. it seems to be mimicking what we see on the box art yeah scarlet came over 
pretty dang close to, yeah. you know. I'm not as excited as I was a week ago. And I'm not saying that as a miserable bastard. Right, yeah. right. But of course, pictures, meh. Seeing them in person tomorrow, maybe a completely a nice different ball game. game. Because, because maybe like the you other said, half of the battle. <laughs> no, you, then, then you have three halves of the battle, because knowing is half of it. We know that. You talked about the other, and now you have three halves. That, that's not I'm from Arkansas. Yeah, we get as many halves as we, we want. want. <laughs> I mean, Scarlet, yeah. if you zoom in, she's got yeah. freckle work yeah. going on, which, which, she, which is cool. Either way, I'm in. I'm in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Already bought snake eyes. Yeah. So. No, I bought snake eyes. I have three snake eyes. Shut your mouth. Hole. <laughs> yeah. I will acquire one from you. And Pabs doesn't get the other one either. No. <laughs> Around that same time, though, Hasbro did announce that their license with Marvel and Star Wars was renewed. Not that that is a surprise. No. But it's yeah. just as big of a relief. But we're it's, it's more of a... <laughs> Rumor squash, you yeah. know. Oh, they're losing yeah. losses. That's I, why they're going GI Joe. And I mean, it would not have made sense for either company to break up this marriage. Right. But at the same time, it's just like, okay, so we got lots of time of yes. Marvel Legends and Star they won't Wars. They say Black. how long a time, right? But but that's okay because it's past this year. <laughs> and yeah, and we still get a good year or so of it. Mm. And I guess during that, there was some kind of video and a picture started going around of the Marvel Legends gamer versus Captain America from the Avengers video game. Yeah. Again, I'm interested in from that action figure aspect. I'm not. I, I don't know how connected I will be to that. I, Look, I, I'm not a gamer. You're right. Um, and, but but even if I was, I, I'm kind of cold on the gamer the the, the the designs of them because I just keep going back in my head. It's like that scene in Spaceballs where they're chasing their stunt doubles <laughs> and it turns around. It's like yes, it looks like them, but uh -huh. like the most generic kind of watered down version of them. So it's the source material more that I have the issue with rather than the figures right. themselves, which we've only seen a little picture of Captain America thus far. But as you say. They're probably just as good of Marvel Legends figures yeah, as anything yeah. else, but it's kind of like... Plus, I'll be getting the game. I think I already like Outback Hulk just because of that glorious beard really? he has. He's, he's, he's nuts. Like, he's a weird-ass It's design. just a different look, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Just a little bit later, we find out there's going to be a Target-exclusive Red Hulk, yeah. which makes sense. Our, our, our own Matt K. I was checking out the Tweeterverse, and uh -huh. he was like, Target, when it comes to anything, hmm, we like that. But do you have it... In red. <laughs> and of course they do. And of course they do. It's because Red they, Hulk. <laughs> because they had the exclusive wave with the Build-A-Figure Red Hulk back in Way the, back in the yeah, day. Yeah. yeah. But Red Hulk's cool. I kind of wish he would have the uh, like mustache and stuff, though. They're, you know how you make Hulk better? You give him facial hair. <laughs> facial hair. Because <laughs> no, I don't that know makes anything that better, one. right? But along with that, Hasbro also sent out promotional images of venomized action figures. And I've they look cool. I just don't know. I'm not a big Ven yeah, symbiote, symbiote guy, but they look cool. I, I don't know if they're necessarily for me, but I'm sure they're going to get me for the wave because they're going to sprinkle in right. stuff that I do care about and probably a build a figure that I'm going to want. They kind of went all out with him with the yeah, new shield. He, and it, uh, Again, he looks like a cool figure. I yeah. just. Uh, but I think it works better with Gwen or Ghost Spider or whatever they're calling her these days. What, what do they call her? Venom? Gwen. Gwenum. Gwenum. Yeah. Gwenum. Gwenum, Venom, Gwenum, Gwenum. Gwenum. <laughs> and then there's a Venomized Miles. Man, it's like some of this stuff was, I'm sure, intended, but a lot of it at the same time probably wasn't. It's because just, we got on the they plane. Get sacked well, no, no. Well, well, the Venomized timing. stuff Hasbro did send out. Yes. But while we were on a plane, <laughs> seems as, as if Walmart blew some of the surprise for this weekend. It's like. Man, Maybe they knew that they could put up pre-orders or something tomorrow and, you know, their IT is just kind of like, oh, we'll get it loaded in the system. And... But at the same time, it's like, hey, we're Walmart. <laughs> Fuck <Yeah>. you. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> what are you going to do? Pull our pull yeah. your toys out of me? Yeah. That's <laughs> Walmart's an entity that speaks a lot. We have the uh, Gamer vs. Rage, which seems to be a pretty good representation of Rage. It is at least the Gamer how vs. Yeah. One? Oh, it's not. It, the, the pictures. Well, they're calling them all Gamerverse, so they may be loosely based. But. Because Leader almost looks like if you can take the yellow stuff off of him, he'd look pretty classic. Yeah. Mach One, I really, really like. I was Help in, me with that. I, I was in the Thunder, okay. Thunderbolts. Thunderbolts. Okay. That's uh, that's Beetle. Whenever right. they were okay. posing as okay. good guys. Okay. Seems like they're reusing Miss Marvel. I don't uh, know if she's changed any like for the game look long or whatever. distance phone. And right there, yeah. I think. But because I think I saw her at Walmart on the way up. <laughs> on the Missouri did. border. You probably yeah. did. And then Captain Marvel. 
or Captain Marvel. He looks Mark Bell. He, <laughs> he looks, looks good. Classic. Yeah. To me. I think so. he's on a Spider UK body. So he's gonna be kind of bulky, kind of big. A little bit, but not anything no, too. No, no, he's not crazy. Ripped, yeah. Which works perfectly yeah. for Marvel. Well, all those bodies are ripped. It's like you yeah. kill to have any yeah. of those. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like I can relate to any of those bodies. <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of thin. <laughs> DC Direct movie. released a Ted Cord a few years ago. That's how it seems here to relate to. <laughs> and then the build a figure for that is an, a, a game reverse abomination, which seems to be he's pretty much the same sculpt. Yeah, some, borrowed. his face is all like and he's weird got, and melty or something. Like yeah, and he's that. got the same stubby little legs. Yeah, but for the AOA wave, the X Men Age of Apocalypse wave. Uh huh. <laughs> The, the, when we were on the was this we were on the plane for Toy Fair last year or San Diego that we were talking oh San Diego it was San Diego yeah we were talking about Sugar Man yeah what do you know I don't give two craps really about the AOA storyline no but sh- but and I don't really care about Sugar Man as a character but he is so Daffy looking yeah I've it's gotta crazy. have him he it's gonna be awesome it's crazy <laughs> they teased it last summer yeah that they would do a couple of AOA waves yeah and. uh this kind of confirms it, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got to think, right? An an age of apocalypse wave with no apocalypse to get away from Hasbro for a minute, because just a minute. Yeah, because we, you know, actual pretty promotional shots of McFarlane Toys Mortal Kombat Spawn figure. Usually, McFarlane's pictures are just stark white backgrounds. Figure, but this figure, is figure, his figure. Baby. <laughs> but it is Spawn, so they sent out with nice backgrounds, mood lighting, romantic music <laughs> playing in the background. I think it's the Mortal Kombat style. Small feet, eyes are kind of in an odd spot on the head, but otherwise, I know some people aren't a fan of the big boot. I like me some big boot. I like me some asymmetry going on. Oh, then you get plenty of that. That's that right. Source. Yeah. yeah. Mattel WWE kind of swung around. Yeah, I did. I don't have a list of those, but... They, the, they've, they've never been big on reveals at Toy Fair. They're all about blowing the roof of the San Diego Convention Center off with, like, 300 reveals and wrestlers that come to the panel. But um, this one, they did show off um, a couple of things because they're celebrating 10 years of Mattel and WWE. See, that's why I don't yeah. collect it. And, I can't go well, back 10 and, years. And, and so they've got this line that it's exclusive to Walmart. It's They're calling it the decade of dominance and it's taking like... Right. It's like a mixture hodgepodge because there's a first appearance Undertaker. So that stares there. into your yeah. damn soul when you look at the picture. But then it's got, you know... Who um, farted in the dead man's <laughs> presence. <laughs> that's Robin what he looks corpse. like. <laughs> Thugonomic Cena. Well, I assumed he in there. They listed him. <laughs> I didn't see him <laughs> in the picture. Yeah, and Jim the Anvil's daughter. I am excited because the WWFEF Legend series is actually back. That they went six series into that at the very beginning, ten years ago, of doing nothing but classic, like, golden age characters yeah. from, like, the Hulk Hogan area, era, I guess is what, you know, a lot of people relate that to. They're picking it right back up, starting with Series 7. It's exclusive to Target, which makes it a little bit more difficult, but they're doing full waves again of classic guys, and Greg the Hammer Valentine, Bobby the Brain Heenan, and Weasel Suit, a new Reza Ramon. Yeah. Um, and hey, yo. Greg the Hammer Valentine is one of those guys that it's like he was around all the time, and it was, seems weird that it's taken this long to finally get him out. Sting but. looks kind of bored, though. Yeah. It's like, hey. But as soon as we got to the hotel, I got another text of you going, oh, wait, what is this? Do you want to talk about the upper shelf or the lower shelf first? Go for the upper shelf. Okay, first because so I'm, so this is a supposedly a leaked picture. I mean, I'm, I'm not really sure of I'm, the exact source of because it. Because earlier, because yesterday we saw an apparent leaked picture of Baby Yoda. Or, mm-hmm. Sorry, the child. The child. The asset. The, the child. Asset mm-hmm. In package that is apparently from the Hasbro showroom. basement. Mm-hmm. And this one was for Ghostbusters yeah, this time. And some and real Ghostbusters. Some real Ghostbusters that are actually reissued. From the original Kenner real Ghostbusters, which, if you probably know, Hasbro, you know, bought Kenner way back in the day. And it appears as though all the molds were still available um, because the four Ghostbusters uh, and Stay Puffed and Slimer, as he was dubbed Green Ghost, kind of amazing that they're leading 
Um, right. A ghost but it's good, easy that. content. You know what I'm... Or uh, to filler. It's yeah. not filler, though. No. I, even I'm interested, and I didn't watch the cartoon a lot, but I like those designs. But it, 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 I, I didn't because have a lot I have, of those. I All have I had was the four, guy with the trash can. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, that was it. Yeah, and, and, and I still have my four original... Uh, real Ghostbusters figures, but only one proton pack. So you need a set loose and a set card, yeah, right? Probably. Why are you trying to talk me into stuff like this? Because <laughs> yeah, that's but, yeah, so, apparently I'm that guy. But then they also put some oh. pictures out for like a more kid-friendly line. They show Bateman and Winston, uh -huh, and, and their heads look really good. You reuse body between the two. Yeah, and they look like I, they're I fun. I kind of like them. And, and they're incorporating slime into the, yeah. the line like of they course should they be. Are. Yeah, but yeah. what caught my eye? What, what really kind of, caught my So, eye. in the leaked picture, there's the, the, the real Ghostbusters reissues, and then right below that is series one of their deluxe, or their their Marvel Legends, Star Wars, Black Series, Classified Plasma series. series, Plasma Series, yeah, I think they're Plasma, Plasma, Plasma series, series, Ghostbusters, and they're hard to make out, but ooh, they do they look, look good. They got Ray down on one knee, uh -huh. which right there is like, holy shit. Yeah, that's an improvement over they're anything that we... Probably Ray himself. <laughs> <laughs> Even at that time. Yeah, but um, also a Zool, and uh -huh. then a Gozer, and, and then Dana. a Zool. Oh, so I'm sorry. There is no well, Dana. There is only, only Zool. Only Zool. No, is it Zool? Oh, her robes seem to be flying out a little bit. Huh? Yeah, okay, so, you got it. Yeah, okay. by the time she puts that get up on, she's full. Oh yeah, possessed by that time. So, so there is no Dana. There is Zool. Um, and then what I assume to be a terror dog. Yeah, figure. there's a terror dog off to the side. Mm -hmm. And my first thought was, and he's are not they, carded. Right. You know. So it has to be a build figure piece, right? Yeah. And my first thought was, are they going to give options for both terror dogs? <sighs> Essentially making you buy two series of the, or well, two sets of the same series, That's or will they wait until thing. the next series? What 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 is crazy about this release? I think I could buy this and kind and of be, be done, done with, with classic that. Ghostbusters. I, I would buy more later if they wanted to add to it. But if this was the only series to release, I'd be good with a collection of Ghostbusters I, stuff. I, and I've, I have I didn't buy Mattels. I didn't buy see, Diamond I, Selects. I, I've been waiting for this. Yeah, yeah, and and that and that's a smart move. I mean, there are some secondary characters like Lewis Tully oh, or yeah. you know some yeah. some other ones that are kind of floating Jeanine. out there that I would be interested mm -hmm. in getting. But if this was like what they offered for the classic series, I would be pretty content with it because I, I'm not going to make any bones about it. It's like yes, I'm excited about the real Ghostbusters reissues. But man, they've got a new movie to take care of, which mm -hmm. you know they will, but I would love to see them do kind of the plasma series treatment on actual classic real Ghostbusters action figure line designs. The guys in there, you know, accurate, different bodies, different yeah. colored suits, look like they did in the cartoon. And then some of the nutso ghosts that were in that line that were so amazing and they were fantastic toys. It's kind of hard to tell if these are reuse or not. You know, yeah. There with, may be with the movie ones. Parts. There's a little bit they can kind of get away with it um, a little bit. The I mean, Pete pants Peter's, are down pants, over his boots. Peter's pants are correct. I'm already sold right here, but when I see him in plastic tomorrow, oh, I, well. I, I was I was intrigued by what we were going to see for Ghostbusters um, this weekend. Now I'm really excited for yeah. it. I, I I really am, and and it helps me get my shelf together because I can actually take my Ghostbusters collection, I think, and cut it down but make it bit better. Right. You know, Hasbro wants all the monies. Yeah, they I'm, want I'm all the monies. I'm considering what other lines to draw. It's tough, but at the same time, what I've learned from kind of putting my collection space up is that I got a little too tangential there for yeah. a while. Yeah. It's like anything that I thought, ooh, that's kind of cool. Let me get that. I'm gonna be a little bit smarter to make my collection a little bit more clean and focused. So maybe it's a good thing that Hasbro is like throwing out all of this stuff because it is some stuff that I actually really like and want to collect so if i if it keeps down from getting the you know occasional you know 80 dollar import figure that's like oh yeah but what the fuck am i gonna do <laughs> exactly this? tomorrow we will most likely talk about a lot of hasbro but we'll talk about the other stuff too that is that kind of long ass video yeah long and, ass day and it's gonna be like <laughs> hey we're Sinkle, tired click but, yeah. just look <laughs> just look at the pictures <laughs> click Look. But Toy Fair is upon us again. Yep. It's also already exciting. Like I said, can't even keep, keep shit straight already yeah. without um, having a you know point of reference. So here we go again. Crazy. New York. So so we'll catch you at Toy Fair. Right here on the Foosh. Yeah.